Okay then guys, we are back yet again with another tank of a sword for you guys. We've got the Wings of Astel, a intellect build weapon which is going to help you big time. With an amazing unique skill called Nebula, where the imbu of the Nebula natural born's wings with magic to send forth a dark cloud of stars that lingers briefly before exploding. This thing is pretty cracked out. Now I haven't even built into utilizing this weapon, although I do have a large intellect, I don't have all of the components to make this work but you can see it is absolutely mental now this does spec into intellect at 20 strength at 7 dexterity at 17 so with this being a heavy intellect build you mages are gonna love this so we are going to start off right here you will have had to have gone down to the three sisters which is obviously the three main buildings for the rani quest line you want to go to the northern one and make your way in you will have to have had rani's quest line started at least to get through to this point and i'll leave a link down in the description to my man dpj's uh, quest guide the way you guys can go and follow it through if you've not got there already massive shout out to him mad mad content anywho we're going to make our way up to here right now where we are going to be going all the way up and at the top of this ladder and to the top of the building is going to be a portal going through that portal is going to transfer you to a different place Now in here it isn't all too bad, you can pretty much run and roll through most of it, although there is one area where a DOS boss does reside just through here, whereas I've actually taken him out already, where that doorway is on the right hand side in the El Palace Ruins, you will see a big old boss that you are going to want to avoid or take out. Once you do manage to get through this part though, it is relatively standard, you just want to run all the way through, making a few rolls, a few ducks, a few jumps, and avoiding a load of giant ants that reside at the bottom of this little tunnel as we make our way round. Once we do manage to get through here though, once we get through to the left hand side and go through the final tunnel, we are going to be brought up to a ledge where there are another ad is going to be. Now it does look like that ad takes a lot of damage, it really doesn't. If you are a ranged character it would be worth just taking it out so that you do avoid any awkward moments, but we're going to make our way through to the right hand side and run all the way around the cliff edge. I did try to get that but it didn't work too well. Anywho, this thing will shoot out rocks towards you, so if you want to take it out, then be my guest. But essentially, you want to run all the way over this bridge bit here, and inside of this chest is the Wings of Astel. This weapon is mental and is completely, completely overpowered if you spec into it completely. And for you mages, this is always worth having on your right hand with your cast in hand on the left. This is something you guys really want to look into just mainly because this actual nebula move is just absolutely cracked. I don't know why it's not gotten more focus on it than it has. So like, subscribe. Thank you so much again for watching. I appreciate all of your faces. But as always, up until the next time, I'll see you in the clouds.